Look at it. Look at it. Jones, it's $10,000 or more. Folks, this is a portion of the show that I like to call the best stuff. Now, I can't afford this stuff, but that doesn't mean I don't like to look at it. I mean, after all, whenever I go to the magazine rack and buy a car magazine, I don't buy the magazine with Pintos and Yugos and Chevys. Hell no. I buy the ones with Porsches, Ferraris, and Lambos. Maybe I can't afford them, but I like to look at them. If you're the type of person that doesn't like this stuff because you can't afford it, this isn't the segment for you. But I believe America is a place where you look out and see a helicopter and some rich dude is flying it. And you don't say, yeah, that son of a bitch with the helicopter. You say, see boy, one day if you work your butt off, you too can own a helicopter. Now get your shovel and get back to work. But before I go too much into a rant, let me show you a couple of things that I believe are the best. This one happens to be a rifle. It's called the Blazer. R8 Professional Leather Success. Now, Blazer is a wonderful company. Of course, it's European made. They have the most incredible engineering, I think, of any gun manufacturer. In fact, in the past, it has been over-engineered, but they finally nailed it with this Blazer. Let me show it to you, show you why I think it's the best in this category, and then I'll tell you how much it is, so you can eat your heart out. This gun, this R8, is completely modular. It comes in this, basically an attache case, where if you're traveling, people don't know exactly what it is. But the cool thing is, say if you're going to Africa or whatever, you can have various barrels that are all plug and play just by two bolts here. And you can have as many barrels as you want. Here there's a 6.5 Creedmoor, of course, because what video blog would, would be complete without a 6.5 Creedmoor that's the best caliber ever made in the history of the world for everything from caterpillars to elephants. And it's got a 300 mag barrel, which just happens to be the best in the world. Anyway, this thing, you take it out of the case. It's already got the sling on it, of course. This is the stock, now it's leather wrapped, uh, which is kind of nifty. I could take or leave the thumb hole personally, but they have different, uh, different options there. I'm just not much of a thumb hole guy, but whatever. Uh, you can get this on the website with any configuration that you want. But the badass part of this thing, I'm gonna put it together here. It's got a bolt. That simply slides on. And in that case, handy dandy, it, it's actually got two little bolt holes that hold this barrel. That goes in like that with this tool, which is an Allen wrench, I say. Now, take your trigger group, pick the magazine that goes with your caliber. This is the magazine, I just guessed. Yep, that's the 6.5. Magazine fits in there trigger group goes in that just comes in and out it's it's the most amazing engineering short of an automobile or a jet that I've ever seen now here's the uh, here's the the nut on this on this setup this scope is a German made scope it's uh, they have branded it uh, Blazer has branded it but I'm sure that it's one of by one of the top three makers probably Leica even though I'll call uh, a guy at Blazer and try to find out but they're pretty secretive about this but this is a German made scope top notch you can tell this when you take one look through this so this scope goes on on these mounts by simply put it on give these clamps a half twist then push it down and that thing is on there incredibly tight just a half twist it's off and I have tested this and tested this and tested this it is absolutely on zero it returns to zero every time so now the gun the rifle is fully assembled and ready to shoot there's a couple of killer things to this gun that make it really special. Number one, it's absolutely safe because to shoot the gun, 
you slide the safety up but when you do that, it actually cocks the gun. It engages the cocker. So if this thing is not cocked, even though the chamber might be loaded, it cannot fire if the gun is on safety because it's not cocked. Now, a cool thing happens when you push this safety on and engage the gun. It sends, it completes a circuit in this metal, which is transmitted in the middle of the scope mount, and then the scope lights up the illuminated reticle turns on whenever the safety slash cocking uh, mechanism is engaged it's i've never seen anything like it and that is just the coolest reticle it's a it's a german number four with a center illuminated dot if you want more illumination brighter this is a a rheostat but instead of just traditional uh you know chinese made you turn it uh one click is just no if you Hold that forward, it will get brighter and brighter, brighter, or pull it back, it'll get uh, dimmer, dimmer, and dimmer. But then it'll always return to that setting that you have it on, and it'll, uh, it goes off after a few seconds when that is disengaged. It's just the coolest thing ever. There's another really sweet feature of this gun, and that is, of course, the Blazer's legendary that it's a straight pull. It's the fastest bolt action ever. Um, this bolt, you don't have to crank it up and back. You simply, gun's unloaded, and I haven't been drinking. Don't worry, we're in a safe environment here. Simply pull it up, shoot, and straight back. It's, it is the, the quickest gun, and that is the reason I don't like the thumb hole on this. You know, to get back on there, you'd have to put your hand. This gun is short, handy, it's sub MOA. You can take the scope off, put it back on, It's zeroed again. Now if you put another barrel on, it's been miraculously close to the same zero. Now it's not exactly on because it's different calibers, different bullets, the whole nine yards, but it's just amazing how quickly this gun can break down. It is my definition of probably the best rifle out there. If you only had to have one gun, this is kind of cheating because you could have many different barrels. This is it, comes in the case for the traveling hunter. I'm gonna use it for whitetail deer hunting this year in Redneck, Oklahoma. Then, unfortunately, I'll have to send it back. But this is the Blazer R8 Professional Success with the leather. And depending on the options, if you go to the website, anywhere from about 6,000 up to 15,000 with 10K, depending on the options. And of course, the scope is, you know, uh, three, four thousand dollars of this cost. But on average, this is about a $10,000 rifle. That's the Blazer, and this is the best stuff. So I have had this gun on loan from Blazer. They've been calling me. I've just been reluctant to give it back. Uh, I've got to, I'm going to, but first I might go to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs>